Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Alundra 2. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Oh, back in Guava, we need to head to the church. But I've come to realize that there's something else that we can do before going into the church, and it would actually be quite useful for us to do. That, and that thing involves the trading game. We can finish it now. All we gotta do is head for the dock. Hello, sir. Ship's about ready to sail. Where you can take you anywhere you wanna go, as long as it's clear to me do so. Alrighty. Needless to say, the real travel options are found at Puerto Medusa. <laughs> yeah, from Puerto Medusa we can go to Yagan Harbor, back to Guava, or to a new place, Gamer Isle. Gamar. We don't want to worry about those right now. Right now we want to head for Eden. Getting to Eden, of course. It's a lengthy run to Seagull Bull Ruins, and then to the Eden Ruins. Yeesh. But now that we've arrived at the island... Hello, sir. Say there, set up a bit of way for your hut? I haven't had one in about 20 years. Sure, fella, here you go. You mean it? I can have the vanilla wafer? Oh, you've made me a happy old man. What's this? That's funny. My Google bird usually hates strangers. Looks like she likes you. You're welcome to take her with you if you fancy. Yay! The Goo Goo Bird we need to take back to Guava. Specifically, the item shop in Guava. So, off we go. Alright. Path back to Guava is of course the same, same path as we used to get to Puerto Medusa, only backwards, so I just cut it out. <laughs> Sir, please! I can't have customers coming in here with wild animals! Oh, ho, ho, it's sitting on my head! It's like it likes you. Oh, shucks. Bit of sticking to shine to me. I've always had this funny way with animals, you know. Um, it's okay with you. I'd love to take this little fella home with me. How about it? Yeah, what? Well, sure. Really? You really need it? Oh, thank you. you. Take care of that goo goo bird. So what? A goo goo bird? Oh, I promise I'll take good care of him. I'd really like to give, give you something to express my thanks. Here, take this. It'll serve you well. Yay! What, what's the Crimson Cape do? Nothing. It's another part of the. It's another part of the trading quest, which we need to take to Molina's mansion on Puerto Medusa. So, uh, one moment. All right. So, where to from here? Just go right on inside. And up these stairs. Because we want to talk to Belgar, the other guy wearing a fancy red cape. Hello, sir. Mm. You're giving this crimson cape to me? Yes, sir. I think you'll make it look good. Here, take this. And please go. What's he give us in return? 
the rising sword, the level six sword. Yeah, we just skip from we just skip the level five sword, and uh, the rising sword does more than twice the damage of the level four sword. <laughs> Suffice it to say, it will serve us well. Be a good man and don't ever give up. <laughs> Alrighty, let's uh, get back to Guaba in the Church of the Key. Hoorah! Yeah, it was a 12-minute detour, but, uh, it'll pay off. <laughs> Sir Flint! Here, come this way! Who? What? Where? Over here! We discovered a secret passageway! members of the Church of the Key are using it to deliver the ore to a different destination. A colleague who knows about the Three-Eyed Isle will went inside. Please, go after him. Alrighty. Yeah, if we'd come in here earlier, then there would have been just been a bunch of robed figures worshipping the key. So, what does this church actually do? Oh, we'll definitely want to, uh, follow the ore. Start things out by, uh, hitting some switches. Deactivating force fields. This particular force field, I think, is unnecessary. Oh! Gotta be careful with these enemies. Fortunately, with fortunately with the level six sword, we do in fact one shot them. For reference, with the level four sword, we would expect to need to hit them three times. They've only got thirty hit points. And these enemies are completely immune to our elemental rings. Yeah, it seems all defeating the ones in the opening room did was, uh, get rid of that annoying noise. If you didn't want to pick up the rising sword or just didn't have the ability, I strongly recommend and throwing the rocks at, at these enemies. I mean, it'll take two of them, but, uh, it's a lot safe, it's a lot safer than lunging at them three times.
make use of that devil shot. That strategy I was using initially does work well, I just... Apparently was mistiming things or something. Oh well, no matter. All right, you get this. As tough as these guys are, they aren't that tough. <laughs> Hey, darts. Ah, much better. All right. Well, that's so we can get a key and go this way. Uh, don't stop there. these ones. Especially this one. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna be a lot of those uh, those traps around this around here. later time, because we don't have what we need to deal with it now. Gonna need our fourth ring. Both of those chests are also trap chests. Fortunately, fortunately, the traps don't know how to aim up and down. A world is, has only two dimensions. <laughs> Time we heal. Don't 
Just in time, because we're going to want it. Come back, platform. Just face north and you're perfectly safe. Alright. Chest on the left is another trap chest. As shown. didn't actually need to fight those two. But, you know, completion. Now here we have an actual narrow maze. These are not pits, they are invisible walls, and, uh, well, given the nature of the camera in this game, I'm glad they went for just invisible walls. You just imagine this just imagine these narrow passageways with tall, visible walls. Give this a push in the only direction we can. Grab us this box. And be on our way out. So we can come through the other door. Hot foot time. Okay, maybe not. Oh! That was rude. So many darts. Don't! Oh. Oh, 
probably actually want to come this way. Because, box! this one. And we're out of here. We've arrived at Turnkey Dam? Where we get to deal with what I can only describe as the most annoying puzzle thus far. Yeah, we need to get this basketball of a flame to ignite that bomb there. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, unfortunately, just, uh, baiting it directly towards it. Even though if you stand here, you won't get hit by the fireball, it won't hit the bomb. Hmm? See, these workers are not the most competent bunch. Oh, no matter. Go. Go away. Oh, would have liked that for that dart. Well, I'll get over it. Alright, barrel's a little bit far away. That'll do. Come on, Flint, it really can't get closer. Really? Finally. here onto the track and uh, prepare for some more annoying jumping. here, but there's actually nothing up there. Nothing important, anyway. Switch elements to, to the pixie. Oh, 
For reasons that I hope are now obvious. <laughs> Unfortunate thing about this room is that the, is that the camera angle, which would be most useful, is completely useless. So that's a make do with this one. And some grapes, just in case, just in case you're in need of the magic. But what do we do with our magic? Well, we need to hit the blocks. Don't bother. We've been well. Fortunately, I did not hover at the at the peak of my jump. And in that case, I just overshot it. Bother. No! I did not realize there was a hole there. I'm taking this. Hey there. Are you my contact? I'm glad somebody has. The other tower? Really? Well, where's the elevator? Oh, yeah? Mm. Meanwhile... An area we would have seen if we had climbed that ladder. Hey, it's the aforementioned elevator. That would have been a lot more amusing if, if the guy with the hammer had knocked the other one flat. <laughs> right. I'm glad somebody is at least. Wait for the elevator. And walk off on this side because it's the only way off the elevator. And continue further up. Still going. Okay, how do you people not get caught? Who are you? Name's Flint. Thank you. Well, look who's talking, small fry. Anyway, what about Princess Alexia being held hostage by Baron Diaz? Is it true that... In order to save her, you need three-eyed idol? 
Yes. Uh, I'll tell you where the idol is. I promise you'll save her. Fine. Uh, no, I'm not actually. I just want to know where it is. Oh, bother. Uh huh. Found out that Mephisto is trying to recover the treasure from the Paca Ruins. But we had this great idea! We figured we could we could stymie Mephisto by taking the treasure from Paco Ruins with us. Oh that would do it. Oh, is that why there was an empty chest there? <laughs> Let's see. Fire Drake Volcano, beyond Mount Sparrowhawk. Huh. So, is it still there? We hit that thing so well, no one could ever find it. Yeah, no matter how hard we look, we can't find it either. That is a superpower. <laughs> well, at least your ineptitude is consistent. Guess I'll go look. Really? You got about fire drink to find it? That shape. Yes, a mysterious shape, a sinister shape, a shape fraught with with shapeness. Huh. Well, no sense worrying about it now. Yay! Thank you. I'm going, I'm going. We're gonna be late! Faster, faster! Ugh. Fine. Fire Drake isn't far from here, just east of Mount Sparrowhawk. That's the very part. Good luck. Okay then. Suppose I really can't even fault them putting me putting Flint on the treadmill. He's clearly the most athletic person there. But Mount Fire Drake is definitely a place for next time. See you then. Later. <laughs>